Hype Squad is officially back with some new interesting changes and updates. So in this video, we'll be going over those changes as well as when you can finally play the game again. This next playtest will be available on the 19th of September at 6 a.m. PST. So you can register for it on their website to get a code if you don't already have one or if you didn't play in the Hype Squad demo in the past. Also, pay close attention on the 13th for an announcement that may come. I suggest following all Hype Squad official socials to make sure you don't miss it. And of course, I will also be covering this announcement as well in the community tab. So feel free to subscribe so you don't miss out. The second playtest will include some changes too. Apart from the new cosmetics, as you can see here, that were teased by the devs, there are some fundamental things that they changed based on the community feedback from players during the previous playtests. And one of those changes is a huge one to the combat and how the weapons work in the game. The devs have stated that they increased the base attack damage, adjusted attack speed, and some weapons will have passives. And one of those passives is the fact that Divided Sphere is now able to heal when successfully dealing basic attacks. Their reasoning behind this was because they wanted to deter metas involving spamming skills and give newer players an opportunity to hold their own better. All of this is really interesting in my opinion, especially since they decided to give weapons passives instead of characters. I'm kind of excited to see what other passives each weapons will have. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about some of these changes being made. I'm personally glad that the devs are doing these changes based on feedback from players during previous playtests. Another awesome change is the fact that we can start each match with one weapon and two abilities. So this basically means you can start each match with a katana or your own personal weapon of choice, as well as an ability such as blink or return to base. This is something that many people, myself included, wanted to happen. There has been so many times where in the early game people just get destroyed because RNG was not kind to them. I'm glad that the devs decided to listen to this part of the player's feedback and implement it into the game. I can't wait to see how much it changes early game dynamics for Hype Squad. The devs also plan to revamp Augmentators, which are basically stat buffs that can increase your HP, damage, or skill abilities. In the past, there were about two Augmentators that dominated the meta to a point where you could finish whole squads with just one or two skill attacks. The game was and probably still is balanced around them. So to address this, they plan to add new augmentators to spice up the meta. Hopefully this works, but only time will tell if it does. They also want to make it easier for players to access these stat buffs by giving players new ways to acquire high points, which are used to buy these augmentators. They stated that they are introducing a new item that players can farm to sell for high points as a way to help with this process. And lastly, the devs also want to make Conquest more fun. It's no secret that the majority of people preferred the normal BR mode to the Conquest mode during the last playtest. So to address this, they made some changes. One of those is decreasing the amount of bases overall, but now teams who fail to capture a base at the end of each round will not be eliminated. Instead, teams who fail to capture a base will have damage inflicted on them each round. The team who captures the last base though will still win the game. This already sounds better than the previous conquest mode and I can't wait to test it. I'm still hoping for one day that they'll tell us what this point match game mode is, but I suppose only time will tell. Nonetheless, I can't wait to test this new updated conquest mode. I don't know about you, but a lot of these changes sound great and I'm glad that the devs are taking community feedback based on them. But for now, all I can do is remind you guys to keep an eye out on all Hype Squad social medias on the 13th for an announcement. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. I'll be coming out with more Hype Squad information in the future too. But till then, stay safe and I'll see you later.